posted by OK Trash 2253. Am I the butthole for refusing to help while on bed rest? Mid 29 MGF 30 had a baby three months ago. Immediately after getting home from the hospital, my GF told me that he would be my responsibility when I was home since she would have to put up with him all day. I was pretty shocked but reluctantly agreed after she told me she wouldn't be doing it if I was home, so I didn't have a choice. He's very fussy. He often needs to be held or rocked and he rarely sleeps for more than an hour or two. I've been dealing with this for the last three months. I had get off my job I work construction come home and have to hold him so he does not cry, often while trying to deal with dinner. Then I wouldn't get to sleep till about midnight since that's when he has to be fed to minimize him waking up in the night. Meanwhile, my GF would sit back and watch a show or make herself something. She started going to bed by 10 and sleeping in the guest room since the baby sleeps in our room. For the last few months, I've been getting maybe two or three hours of sleep a night and going to work and doing a physically demanding job. I was pretty much living off of coffee, snacks and energy drinks. Then coming home and dealing with the baby all night. I'll admit I wasn't taking very good care of myself. I started forgetting stuff, even eating, my job performance was slipping. My GF just told me that that's what she deals with all day, so I guess I just felt bad and needed to keep stepping up. I collapsed at work on Thursday and woke up on the way to the hospital. The doctor told me I was basically exhausted and mildly dehydrated and told me to rest, stay home, and drink fluids for a week. Now, my GF is angry and saying I don't do anything. I am not even working. I feel bad still since the baby is a lot of work, but at the same time, I was literally told to take it easy. I don't do nothing, but nowhere near as much as I was. Like I'll sit and hold the baby or feed him during the day, but I've started going to bed earlier and leaving her up with him, or making her get up in the night. She keeps saying I'm not doing enough and calling me lazy. I'm pretty lost at this point. Am I the butthole? And now to the comments. Okay, register 3005 comment. Not the butthole and you need to renegotiate with your GF. You should split baby duty in the evening. It's not fair for either of you to work an 8 minus 5 while and the other works 24 7. You need some serious communication. As for your week off rest, take it. Major Barnacle 2212 likes to add I can't say this any louder, not the butthole. It's not safe for you or the baby to continue as you are. You shouldn't be driving or on a job site. I'm saying that as someone in your field. Your girlfriend should be concerned, not angry. I imagine she is also tired and I can't judge how her days are spent without hearing her side but from your side, I know you need more rest and some help or you are going to get badly hurt. LFGM1977 likes to add Not the butthole well. Listen I had a baby and I get it but what your GF is doing is wrong. You can't be expected to work a physical demanding job then come home and keep going all night. No wonder you passed out. When I had my son, my husband would help me when he got home from work so I could relax. But I got up at night since he had to work. And on weekends we split it so we could both rest. You're both going to be tired. That's life with a baby but no way should either one of you be exhausted to the point of being hospitalized. You need to sit down with her ASAP and work out a schedule where you both get get to rest, not just her. Medium Armadale 340 commented. Has your girlfriend been thoroughly evaluated for PPD? It might not sound like it to you, but this could definitely be PPD. Her seeing your son as a job and burden is unusual as is her ability to disconnect from him like that. To the next post. Posted by Effective Run 6169. Would I be the butthole for continuing to set off my car horn every time I see my neighbor take a picture of my car? This whole thing is so dumb but I'm thinking that maybe I am being too petty or something and I wanted to get other people's perspective on it. I 22 have a cute little VW that my grandfather gave me when I got my license at 20. I know that's a little late, but I had a fear of driving and just kept putting it off until I had no choice but to learn lol. To celebrate, Grandad bought in two Beetle from one of his friends and fixed it up for me. He runs an auto shop so we were able to get it painted my favorite color too which I am really happy about. It's adorable and pink and I love it so much I'll probably never sell it even when it does not run anymore. 
No one has ever really had an issue with my car, the most I get is people telling me it's cute. However, my neighbor totally hates it. She came over about a week after I moved in with my roommates and told me that my car was an eyesore and messed with the curb appeal of the neighborhood. I said I was sorry she felt that way, but I didn't know what exactly she expected me to do about it. She asked that I park it in the garage, but I can't do that because it's a one-car garage and between the three people that live in this house, two of us drive. The one that parks in the garage works from home, so it wouldn't make sense for me to take that spot since they'd have to move their car out of the driveway every morning so I could go to work. I thought that was the end of it, but then she sent a complaint to the HOA, and when that didn't work she started posting on the neighborhood app making up reasons to get upset with the loud college kids across the way, and lately it's just been her coming outside to take pictures of my car after I park it in the driveway. Now when I catch her doing it, I press the key fob so the horn honks. The first few times it scared her, but now it just pisses her off enough to make her storm back in her house. I did it again today when I got home from work and saw her, and she ended up leaving a note in our mailbox saying that I was being childish and disruptive and she was going to report me for targeted harassment. I am not too worried about that last part lol, but my roommates think that I have made it worse by honking the horn and that since she's not really bothering me by taking pictures, I am being a little childish in my response. And now to the comments. A comment from Graham Breaking at 5056. It's a nice all. Because it's a colour she does not like. That's so ridiculous. Personally, I do start by calling the non-emergency police line and tell them you have someone that is constantly documenting when you are home by taking pictures of your car and posting them online. You don't know what their intent is, and you're scared for yourself, property, and roommates. It'll have the cops talking to her once and maybe she'll stop. Also, not the butthole. A comment from Mananakam. Have you considered reporting her for harassment? She has made posts about you, she has approached you over total nonsense, she's even tried taking it to the HOA. If anyone is a victim here, it's you. Not the butthole. Etta, it probably is super annoying for the other neighbours though. ID stops setting off the alarm but starts documenting it slash taking pics of her when she is doing it so you have a record of her behaviour. She sounds unhinged and who knows who she sends those pics to. A comment from Liz Bay. Not the butthole. But stop. Because now you are giving her grants to report you. Look, you have a phone, right? Just turn the tables and video her when she approaches to take a picture. Take pictures and document, so now you have grounds to report her. But stop with the noise, you are definitely annoying your other neighbours too. A comment from Sajim. Not the butthole, but what you should do is report her for harassment. Best thing is that you have proof and you can gear more proof. You have the HOA complaint, you have the posts on the neighbourhood app, Next step is to get a security cam to record her taking pics of your car. Take all that to police and report her for harassment. Diminishing Pishes commented. Not the butthole. Told me that my car was a nice or a mess with the curve appeal of the neighbourhood. I don't know where to begin with complete and utter nonsense of this magnitude. Shaney Happy Yard for commented. I think you're being a little childish if you continue to haunt the horn. You did it a few times, scared her, and let her know you were watching. Now, why don't you write a quick note maybe the length of this post to your local police department advising them that you are being harassed by this neighbour. Be sure to list what she's told you during your confrontations, and the ways that she's trying to get rid of you in your car. That way, when something happens, she will be the prime suspect. You could send her a copy of the letter after the cops have it. That should shut her up. To the next post. Posted by Ad Adventurous 5542. Am I the butthole? For feeding my Muslim colleague pork. It went to five I've had a new colleague Midwinders, come in last month. I didn't interact with her much since she is from another department, but she is in the same office as us, so we share a pantry. So I was heating up my lunch in the pantry yesterday, it was pork dumplings and she was sitting at the table. I had some small talk with her and offered my pork dumplings. And while she was eating, she asked what it was and I said pork dumpling. She spitted it out and was really angry about it, saying I should have known she was Muslim and can't eat pork. I apologized, but she just left the pantry. 
The thing is I only know she is Arab and she was like an European Arab with blue eyes and blonde hair and she wasn't wearing any religious item to indicate she was Muslim. And this morning I received a letter from HR for religious harassment. I mean on one point I could see why it's disrespectful and I could be really ignorant but on another hand she is a grown adult and she should have asked beforehand if she had a dietary restriction. Dear listener, do you like my voice? Please tell me which speaker you prefer in the comments below. And now to the comments. A comment from Anana means... Not the butthole. If you have any type of dietary restrictions then it's up to yourself to ask about ingredients before eating something. 2G Lion likes to add... Make sure and challenge the assumptions that HR have made. Ask them why they did not inform you of dietary restrictions and if there are any more people in the organisations whose dietary restrictions they want you to be aware of. Ask them where this policy is that requires you to know all of your colleagues' dietary requirements. Ask them what part of you offering your colleagues some food and them accepting as harassment. Ask them how it could be religious harassment when you did not know your colleagues' religion. OP commented. I will. I have not been slapped with a warning or strike yet since it's still investigation, but I will mention it when I have a meeting with them. Westmap for 1,218 likes to add... Not the butthole. No one, these days, can assume someone's religion, gender, erotic identity, allergen list, etc. The list goes on. I wouldn't assume that someone is Muslim, or Jewish, or Catholic just by ethnicity or whatever. If someone has specific dietary requirements, whether for religion, allergy, or by preference then, I believe, it is up to the person to confirm what they are eating is free of pork slash penis slash meat etc. Crappy for you that you have been reported for religious bullying, I hope it works out okay for you. Good luck with it. Miss Vinchase 7 commented. Not the butthole. Can you imagine the uproar if you had assumed she was Muslim? It's up to her to explain her religious and dietary preferences and to check. If it was me, I'd challenge the HR letter immediately. You have grounds to do so. Lucifer Lamp Muffin commented. She should have said before accepting the food, you're not the butthole. A comment from Dr. Agnes L. Not the butthole. If you don't eat something due to any kind of reason, allergy, phobia, religious regulations, health condition, moral beliefs, etc., it's your responsibility to ask if a food offered to you contains it or not. End of the story. Tangerine Bouquet likes to add Not the butthole and push back on HR. You cannot know someone else's dietary restrictions, religious or otherwise, and it is up to adults to determine their own food choices. You may want to offer food with would you like some of my pork dumplings sort of thing in the future, but you did nothing wrong here. She is in butthole for overreacting and for reporting you to HR and presumably lying in that report because the truth is that you did not bully her in any way, religious or otherwise. To the next post. Posted by No Record Minus 2773. Am I the butthole? For telling my mother I am more important than her. My husband and I have been trying for a baby since the end of last year and we're just now around 11 weeks along. We decided as a cute idea to do a pregnancy reveal to my mother for Mother's Day. It went well and we made sure to tell her specifically that we were not posting or announcing anything until at least the end of the first trimester, but that we didn't want anyone else to find out until we got a chance to tell them personally. She told a friend within hours. My husband and I brushed it off because her friend wasn't part of our circle and the odds of others finding out for her were slim to none. But we made sure to remind my mother we weren't telling anyone. By the end of the night one of my aunts was already on the phone congratulating me. Within 24 hours, my mother had a grandma reveal Facebook post out for all friends and family to see. She asked me through text at midnight and didn't even wait an hour to post it. We managed to get her to take the post down after it had been up for 14 hours, but some people found out about our pregnancy who we hadn't been ready to tell. My mother apologized, but always made sure to say only a few people had seen and she had already taken it down so it wasn't a big deal. Here is where I should say that all I ever wanted was a genuine apology for spoiling a big moment with the promise that she wouldn't do it again and a basic understanding of why I was upset. She couldn't figure it out and ended up becoming defensive. 
She started calling me a bully for trying to make her feel bad and saying I was ridiculous for holding on to all this anger over something so small. She said I was denying her by not letting her tell anyone about her soon-to-be grandmother status and that if we hadn't wanted people to know we shouldn't have told anyone. I snapped and here is where I may be the butthole. I sent a very harsh message to her. I said she had the emotional maturity of a five-year-old and a complete disregard for anyone's feelings but her own. That seemed to be Mother Trump grandmother. That she wasn't the priority here, I was, and I was tired of catering to her feelings while she stepped all over mine. I told her the only person I shouldn't have told was her, since no one else seemed to have trouble keeping the secret. I also threatened that if she wanted to continue being a part of my life, then she needed to learn how to think of other people and how her actions might affect them. My husband fully agrees with me that this has gone on long enough and we need to set very clear boundaries and expectations, but my sister thinks my message was mean and I should have been nicer in my delivery. My mother obviously thinks I am a major butthole for this, but I am not sure I even care about her opinion anymore. So am I the butthole? For telling my mother I am more important than her. TLDR, my mother crossed boundaries and I put my foot down very harshly. And now to the comments. A comment from X and Sonny Catex. Not the butthole and ignore your sister. OP commented. My sister is still reliant on my mother for things like medical and phone, so while she agrees with me in private, I think she's worried about the consequences if she openly defies our mother. I'm not holding anything against my sister because just a few years ago I was in the same position, but I think our fear of losing our mother's support let us enable her for too long. I think she fully believes she's the most important person in the world now. The illustrious ship of 169 likes to add. Not the butthole. If you have any opinions about limiting information about children or their photos on social media, this is going to get much uglier. A comment from OP. That was my exact thoughts too. My husband and I are not active on social media and the idea of random strangers having access to pictures of my baby have me uneasy as heck. I guess this is sort of my line in the sand major boundary to test her willingness to work with me in the future. Oxenpin 1776 commented. Not the butthole. Now you know to let her know last about gender, birth, job promotions, awards. She can find out everything after you've posted it to social media or informed everyone else. A comment from me, Kim. Not the butthole. I wouldn't have sent the message you did. I would have sent the message that she will no longer be told anything about your life until you're ready to share it publicly. If she can't respect your right to decide when to announce news about your life, she forfeits her right to know that news before anyone else. A comment from OP. My husband and I have already decided to put her on the info diet. She will be the last to hear any news. But I didn't want to throw that in her face because that's just adding fuel to the fire at this point. A comment from Turkey Green. Not the butthole. Sounds like this was a straw that broke your back. Congrats on the Beeps BTW. Queen Arla likes to add. Not the butthole. Your mother deserved that message after posting on Facebook after you told her to keep it a secret. I could forgive her for being so excited she told a couple of people, but the Facebook post was just a big F you to you and your wants. From now on, she should be the last to know anything about the baby. To the next post. Posted by Conscious Jury 7937. Am I the butthole for sitting with my son at my wife's funeral? A 52 male was with my wife, 53 female, since high school. We got married and had a son, 25 male, and daughter, 27 female. My son came out as gay when he was 16. My wife was never supportive of my son being gay. He moved out at 19 to live with his boyfriend. My wife tried to pretend he did not exist. None of her family was supportive and would let it be known during family events. As a result, I became distant from my wife and was looking into divorce. She got diagnosed with breast cancer last year and I put the divorce on hold to help take care of her. Son also helped but she would push him away. The cancer spread throughout her body and she passed away last week. We had the service last week and her family made it clear that Sun and his boyfriend had to sit away from everyone. Her brother approached me asking if I would sit with him and his family. I simply told him no one went to sit with my son. 
Everyone gave a steady glares and it was worse during the reception. Her brother approached me after the service angry that I chose my son over my wife. He even went as far as to say that my wife did not want her son there as he was a disgrace. I am now disgraced by her family for supporting my son. This has caused tension between the families. I just would like to know if I was the butthole. And now to the comments. Quirky fun username likes to add. Not the butthole, but your wife's family sure is poopers. I am sorry for this tough time. High five for being a supportive parent to you, son. It sounds like he really needed you. Wolfgod77 likes to add. Not the butthole. Your son deserves to know that he is someone in his corner, especially if his maternal relatives feel the same way about him as your wife. Sitting with him at the funeral does not mean that you are choosing him over your wife. It means that you love your son. JRM1102 commented. Not the butthole, of course you're not. You were ready to divorce your wife over this, so who gives a f what her family thinks? A comment from similar to Hitchhog. Not the butthole, you're brave, supportive and loving. Sorry for your loss. A comment from Spiritual Line 7227. Not the butthole, pretty sure God does not like bigots either. A comment from Punk Brewster's twin. Not the butthole, you did not choose anyone over your wife. You chose to support your son who had just lost his mother. While I respect her family is grieving, you owe them nothing and did nothing wrong here. If I were you, I would avoid them going forward. I lost my husband a few years ago and while I was blessed with supportive in-laws for the most part, there were a few who I choose to disengage from as much as possible. Just because we have a shared grief does not make me obligated to allow them to be an active part of my life, and you are not obligated in any way to your in-laws either. Squirrel Sir Evil 2479 likes to add... Not the butthole. You are a hero. You have stayed with your wife and put the divorce on hold to help her. Once that was over, you rightfully put your son first. He will never forget that you stood up for him. You are a great husband and you are a great father. I am sorry for your loss. It must be very difficult to lose someone you loved under such circumstances. As Paul Oeski commented. Not the butthole, and maybe this is the last you get to hear from them. Even if you went with the divorce, it wouldn't have been any different. At least now you don't have to deal with any of them. When a parent fails a child for whatever reason, it's the parent's failure and not that of the child. Well done on being there with your son who otherwise would have been alone. That is all I have for you today. I hope you liked it. If you want more of this content, please consider subscribing and clicking the bell. I wish you a great day.